Hey everybody, Mr. Grove here. Today we're going to talk about the three classes of uh, fish. Uh, and so the fish are going to be members of the phylum chordata. Um, and so these are going to be um, the class Agnatha, the jawless fish, and then the class Chondriachthys, the sharks, rays, and skates, that's the cartilaginous fish, and then what we would call the bony fish, the class Osteichthys. So let's start off with class Agnatha. And so there's two main uh, examples of these, and this is going to be the hagfish and the lampreys. And although they might look similar at first glance, they're actually very different in how they go about doing their thing. Uh, but some of the things that they do have, they're cartilage skeletons. So these eel-like um, fish are, you know, very flexible cartilage skeleton, not bone. Uh, they have multiple gill slits. So over here on the um, lamprey, you'll see the gill slits. Um, and then the uh, difference then, or another similarity is they keep their notochord as an adult. Um, so they... Um, have their still vertebrates, but they keep that notochord then as well. Um, so the, how they're different is how they basically feed. And so the lamprey is going to be these little eel-like things that uh, parasite on the side of bigger fish um, and sometimes mammals. And so they've got these really sharp teeth uh, and they will basically suck blood like a giant leech um, on that. And so, you know, with the fish, there's no way of getting that off. Um, and so, you know, they're going to be able to parasite for as long as they need to to get that meal. Uh, hagfish may be even more interesting. Um, they are going to be scavengers. And so they are going to kind of go on the bottom of the ocean uh, looking for uh, different um, whatever they can find, food items to scavenge. Um, and what uh, th they do is they kind of pull that off and kind of feed on it uh, like an eel kind of from the inside out of the carcass. But what makes them super uh, interesting and cool is the fact that they have a they produce a protein that when it comes in contact with the water, it basically turns to instant slime, this protein. Uh, and so these guys just can make gallons and gallons of this slimy snot type stuff. In fact, they're sometimes called the slime eels. Uh, and so uh, it's almost unbelievable um, until you actually see it in video footage. So. But that is the hagfish, um, and that is the lamprey, and they are both part of the jawless fish, class Agnatha. Um, our cartilaginous fish, these are going to be the sharks, rays, and skates. So sharks are the one we're the most common with, so we've got this cartilage skeleton. You know, you have cartilage skeleton with your ears and your nose. Um, and then the, the skin is actually kind of a rough sandpapery type uh, skin in one direction. So these are the skin is from plasoid scales that overlap each other. Uh, and if you're going forward, that's very smooth. But if you were to rub backwards on the shark, you'd, it would feel kind of sandpapery. Uh, the teeth, you know, you have two rows of teeth, basically, your baby teeth and your adult teeth. And sharks could have it anywhere from six to 10 or more rows. Um, so when a, teeth falls, a tooth falls out, it just keeps getting um, replaced. Uh, and so sharks, you know, sometimes those teeth are, are designed a little bit for specific purpose. So like in the case of our great white here, these bottom teeth are very jagged uh, for more pinning the prey. And then these top teeth are kind of in a straight line, more like a serrated knife for tearing uh, off. And these guys are all extremely, extremely good predators. Um, and so that's the cartilaginous feast, uh, fish, the sharks. Uh, the other cartilaginous uh, fish is going to be the rays and skates. Uh, and so they have that flattened body. Um, how they're different is rays will have just kind of one solid tail sticking out sometimes with the spines um, that you got to be careful not to step on. Um, and then um, skates are going to have more like a, a fin. Okay. So actually... Let me, st that's not totally true. They will be more like the rays as well. Um, so there's a specific kind of shark that kind of has that fin shape. So um, in this case, um, also cartilage, the jaws are going to be more for crushing. Um, and so uh, they're, you know, going to be predators looking for crabs or mussels or things like that. And so that's the cartilaginous fish. So the sharks, the rays, and the skates. And then lastly, we have our bony fish, and that's pretty much anything else 
Um, it's not a shark, not a ray, and not one of our agnatha. So if you're going fishing somewhere, you're probably pulling up a bony fish, an osteichthys member. Okay, and so for that, the skeleton is made of bone. Um, they also have um, what's called a lateral line. So along the side, if you look real closely, you will see a series of line. Um, and that lateral line system is a sensory system uh, that helps fish, you know, be able to react um, to their senses. Um, and so it kind of gives them kind of almost like a spider sense kind of thing. Uh, they also have a, a little gill cover, a bony cover um, right here that covers the gills, and that's called the operculum. And that's something that the sharks and the cartilaginous fish did not have. Uh, and they also have a swim bladder, something that the sharks do not have. And so that helps them maintain their buoyancy. Uh, it's like little floaties. When you were a kid, the more air you put in the swim bladder, the more you float. And the less air you put in, the less you float. Uh, and so we can kind of break down the bony fish into two categories. Uh, ray fin fish, okay, so that sometimes these fins are called rays, or lobe fin fish. And so lobe fin fish would be like the coelacanth, uh, a fish that we thought was extinct. And then we found out, oh, hey, there's still more out there. Uh, and the fins actually rotate kind of almost like your ball and socket joint of your shoulder uh, in your hip. So it's kind of an interesting type of thing. Definitely not very many um, species of the lobe fin fish left. Uh, most fish of what we'd see in the osteichthys class are going to be ray finned. So that is the fishes. Um, and I hope that was helpful.